maybe this is the reason why Diddy is in the trouble that he's in right now. Is Diddy practicing voodoo? Let's let's talk Man, about it. I'm so sick of Diddy. I came face to face with a demonic spirit yesterday. This demonic spirit is the demonic spirit that is behind, or one of them that is behind Sean Diddy Combs or P Diddy. A few days ago, this tattoo was brought to my attention and immediately because I come out of witchcraft, because my family has been tied to syncretism and, 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 and all these crazy demonic occultic witchcraft religions i already knew off rip this was a demonic spirit that he had tatted on his back and the caption that he himself uploaded this with in like 2017 or something was i got my front and she got my back you might not know who this is if you're caribbean if you're african or whatever you you probably do know you feel me but these spirits go by different names and different cultures and different it's like witchcraft has denominations nations so whether you practice in yoruba whether you practice in santeria iwa whatever it is it's all witchcraft is all demonic the demonic spirit that's on the back of p diddy is called the black madonna or even better yet this is from the iwa haitian voodoo demonic practices of witchcraft this demonic spirit goes by the name of izili danto or the manifestation of urzuli in in Santeria, this spirit goes by Yemaya. If we go even backer, this spirit goes by Atabe. If you haven't realized it already by looking at the tattoo, what does it look like? It looks like an image of Mary and baby Jesus. Syncretism, the fusion of all these old, ancient, demonic, false gods, and then they fused it together with Catholicism and birthed these new religions. P. Diddy is more demonic and more wicked than you even think, bro. This is just surface what you see, and I'm telling you right now, this man is an entire warlock. He is man so so okay so for everybody that's probably in the comments trying to listen to this i'm, I'm we're gonna let y'all know of course when we do the playback uh when we do the actual video you're gonna see the actual video um so shout out to sean <laughs> i understand but um but i mean at the end of the, the, at the end of the day it's um what he's talking about is on the back of P. diddy's um diddy's back it's a uh, kind of like a a, a a voodoo kind of like santeria mm -hmm. deal and um man I, I mean if that's what he's in man man i was i was in the psalms this morning and he was talking about like god would give you over to your idols and they would be your downfall mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeez. you know what i mean so you know uh what do you guys think about that man this dude <laughs> man i he just so much man i just think it's a perfect example of you, you your darkness is gonna to come to the light. Yeah, um, you done a lot of things, and we still don't know the gravity of everything that's been done. We only heard a few things here and there. Yeah, uh, of course, when the trial comes up, we have more detail. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't want to put something on somebody that they didn't do, but I'm not going to skew some stuff that we actually seen, like and beat the woman up and things of that nature. Yeah, and it's like a lot of things you try to sweep under the rug, they're gonna to come to the surface. Mm -hmm. And like what Sean was saying last week, when we heard the detective talking about Diddy and all the people who were involved and stuff. I look at these things for me, it's like anything that I'm doing in the dark, just know that it's going to come to the light. Yeah. Like God is giving you a warning. He's telling you like, hey, like, and if you're practicing anything outside of Christianity, if you're, you're doing this witchcraft and doing these different things, like it's going to lead to your demise. Like this stuff does not have a firm foundation. There's only mm, one firm foundation, true. which mm -hmm. is Jesus. This stuff, it gives you the illusion to meet your, uh, meet the things that you wanted to meet for our satisfaction and power and success and different things it just draws you deeper and deeper in but the higher you go the longer that fall is going to be mm -hmm. and it's all that's happening like this man was at the height this man big in the forest list all these different things but not every single dirty thing he's ever done it seemed like every day is coming to the surface it's like but even with that that scripture I feel like God is um, I think God does two things with that scripture where like your, your, your light your darkness will come to the light mm -hmm. I feel like he, he gives you one an opportunity for you to say to tell somebody your darkness right or he could be like if you gonna keep playing I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm 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 expose you you know what I'm saying yeah so I, I think at the same time man with Diddy man I feel like I, I could feel like God was giving him so many opportunities. You know what I mean? Even for us, like even on the show, I made it perfectly clear. Like last week, like 
about us. He gives us times and times and, you know, like, hey, stop doing that. Please stop mm-hmm. doing that. Stop doing that. You know what I mean? Get some help. Tell somebody about that, you know. Um, help Get help in that area or whatever area you're dealing with. Um, but if you're willfully in it and don't care, yeah, God's going to, he's going to lay his hands off you. Especially when you're playing with God. you mocking God. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. You hanging out with pastors and different things. Like I remember one time watching the band back in the day. Yeah. And uh, somebody had said something about the devil. And then he came in, he was looking at me, he said, you know how I feel about the devil. I don't fool with the devil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like making it sound like he just is God-fearing man. Yeah. Meanwhile, the whole time, you got all this stuff <laughs> yeah. going you doing, on bro? behind the scenes. You playing yeah. with God, bro. It's like, I think, man, God does that to all of us. I think he'll come to us, he'll convict us, say, hey, stop, stop. Mm-hmm. Until uncovering you and exposing you is the only thing that's left to do yeah. to get your attention. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. So I think that's what happens. Let me ask y'all a question. Do you feel it? What if some? What if it's a person out there saying like, "Hey, what if will you repent? Do you still need to confess?" Well, scriptures say confess it's and repent. Fault. Yeah, confess your No, fault no, no. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm coming from that perspective of that mm-hmm. scripture yeah. of like, if somebody said, "Yo, I repented to God. I turned away from it. Do I still need to tell people about that?" <laughs> Do you mean as far as confess publicly? No, I'm talking about as a confession of like, you know how let's say. So let, let, let's use somebody. Let's say somebody was uh, a drug addict, right? Or not a drug addict. Let, let's say somebody was a porn addict. They, like the Lord revealed to them, and then they were like, you know what? I repent. I turned away from it. You know, do that person still need to go to you or you to be like, mm-hmm. not you or you, but somebody they're mm-hmm. accountable to? They be like, I tell them personally about that. think so, because um, a lot of times you're dealing with something like porn or any sin for that matter that you're yeah. struggling with. It could be a stronghold. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. I think I'm gonna gotcha. tell somebody. For not because I feel like, yeah, for accountability. Not because I yeah. feel like I just got to go to somebody. Like, yeah. we're not in the confessional. I got to talk to a man. Right. I'm going to go Pray straight it. to God with my repentance. But I'm going to say, hey, Jeremiah, I've been struggling with pornography. Not yeah. you, but I've been struggling with pornography, man. Yeah. I need you to hold me accountable. You know gotcha. Because like, gotcha. right. there's, there's no shame maturity. involved. Yeah. 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 No, but I think also, too, I think the reason why we don't have those type of situations is because people are ashamed or mm-hmm. or people are like I don't want to tell James because James gonna tell my business I don't want to tell mm-hmm. I don't want to tell Nene because she gonna tell my business <laughs> you know what I mean um, but I think at the same time it is one of those things where it's like a confession you know yeah. the scripture says you, you get healed by that you know yeah. strongholds do get broken so they do that, that's mm-hmm. one of those things and that's yeah. a fear you, you need to know your people and once again <laughs> for those people I, I can see the comments coming now you can be a believer and still deal with a stronghold. Mm-hmm. That don't mean you're possessed because you can't be possessed when you <laughs> have the Holy Spirit. <laughs> what you're doing is what the Bible says, waging war against the flesh. Like, if you're convicted of it and you're and you're trying to come out of it, you could be waging war against the flesh as a believer. Mm-hmm. Like, don't think you unsaved because you're struggling with pornography. Because some folks believe that. And, I'm not, I'm, and once again, let me clear this up. I am not condoning watching pornography. <laughs> Gotta I'm be not, clear, make oh, it plain, plain. I ain't saying, oh, it's cool yeah. to watch pornography. Yeah, yeah. You'll you believe it. Go ahead and watch. Yeah, it now we ain't saying that, bro. But the Bible also says yeah. you can quench the Holy Spirit as well. Yes, it right? sure does. And there's consequences for that. Absolutely. It's true, there yeah. are. Absolutely. I think and that it, brings up a good topic as well. Because I know, like, especially with, like, African things and stuff, too. Because my brother went over there. He went to pursue music and stuff. And my mom had told us, like, through different research, because she loves, like, research and deliverance, yeah. that there are a lot of, like, sorcerers that are in the music industry industry and a lot of the people that come that's over there they be sorcerers and stuff so even like um in the clip further on he was talking about like that that deity which the which i couldn't really see it but on the back was the black madonna and then he was going over like the different names that this entity has from africa to haiti Mm. to santeria to all these different places um and i thought it was so interesting so i wanted to bring that up but that it's called the divinity of love and he also touched on how like he, he changed his name to love yeah. and he feels like in that he embodied and allowed that spirit and took on um the black madonna spirit or whatever mm. and wow. he even put a list of the things that is connected to the spirit so it's the goddess of sexuality rules over cultures a marine spirit queen of the petro nation loves blood and alcohol holds T. Jean Petro, a snake, demonic spirit, um, the little baby in a woman's arms, this demonic spirit is used for wealth and power. So as he was explaining these things, I was like, why is this lining up to everything that's coming out Mm. about him? It's confirming it. Baby oil? Baby oil? Baby oil. (laughs) It's supposed to protect women and kids, but all this stuff coming out about what you're doing to women and kids and men. You said love alcohol. You got a whole alcohol brand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeez. 
I was they, like, they, wow. They reveal themselves, Ooh. man. Yeah. They reveal themselves. So it's bro. like, we think about people over there, but it's like, who here are sorcerers Damn. and yeah. embodying these spirits but, and stuff like that in our music? Yeah, real quick. The music industry is filled with warlocks and witches, period. Oh, and it's yeah. been like that for years. Years. Mm-hmm. From executives to different things you're mm-hmm. hearing about. I mean, you can go on YouTube and go down those rabbit holes and you hear about people saying, yo, we put the master of that album out and um, the master was on a pentagram we pray spirits into it we heard this person saying backstage at the grammys this person is doing uh, um, a ritual or it, it it's been like that for years i think right now with the er with people exposing stuff and the technology more people talking about it but it's been like witches and warlocks been in the music industry for years and i and I, it, it's one of those things where it's like you're seeing the effects you're seeing mm-hmm. the effects of the music on people you're seeing the effects of different things on uh, on the culture man you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying and unfortunately um it's never too late i would say that that's the greatest thing somebody could say is mm-hmm. god can always save somebody out of their darkness you mm-hmm. know? as long always. as you're alive you're alive and you're breathing you yeah. can be saved that's the best yeah. thing 